Hey everybody, Wanna Weasem here. Friday night, early Saturday morning, September 6th, 3.37 a.m. We just breezed through here. Our first time ever got a really nice score. Slobbertooth performed quite well for us in this one. Uh, what we're going to do now is come in. Uh, this was Plants vs. Cakes. We're going to select our level. We're going to go to Fruit Fights. And uh, hopefully this one goes as smooth. Character I have pre-selected for it is going to be Scorp. Hopefully that is a good selection. If he needs backup, we will go with Slobbertooth. Why do I say if we need backup? I found out earlier when we lost some Skylanders, you can actually switch them. I assumed it was a one-and-done type deal. Uh, so that was a learning experience. And then also, um, it's nightmare mode, so crazy things can happen. But uh, fruit fight, collect fruit for the archaeologist expedition. Let's get going. Oh dear. Food fighting weebles have trapped some archaeologists in their fruity fray. Hurry, Hotel Master. <laughs> Collect the fruit and put a stop to all of this. Right. Oh, this one will be awesome for Fruit Frontiers. The sting. I've been looking for one that was just like an all out fruit extravaganza. I wonder if that counts for eating them, though, since you have to collect 95. That may not. Uh, we'll find out really fast. Uh, 15 times 5, what would that be? 7? Yeah, I mean, essentially, if that does count for eating the fruits, you could take 7 different Skylanders through when you complete this, just with the 95, and you would actually take care of it all. So, I don't know, I'm guessing this one might be, like, more race-oriented. I will find out. Ready, 3, 2, 1, go! Can we break that? 14 minutes, I guess not. Oh, destroyed. These give us health. They do give you health back. So I think this will count for Fruit Frontiers, and I'm so happy. Uh, if you didn't believe that I do things blind, that is a giveaway. Uh, if I'd have known this a long time ago, uh, that would have been fantastic. That's a really annoying um, quest to go for. Sad thing is, I think Scorp may have it. Don't hold me to that, but I think I've played with him enough that we have actually done that. Fruit box destroyed. Oh wow. Uh, I don't need that, but we're gonna get it. Just, just because. It's always confusing to me when there's the spike gates, because I don't know if they're actually gates, all of them, or you know, if they're going to be Actual spot destroyed. Okay, I was afraid they were gonna hit us there. I have bad luck where I just like jump into the projectile. You don't know what I'm talking about, watch some of the other situations. Oh yeah, fruit frontiersman here is like a joke now. All this time I've been going through here and I've been like, yeah, it's a shame these hot dogs and hamburgers aren't fruit. <laughs> Little did I know that this one have all that. Fruit box destroyed. And you totally don't have to go back for these. I guess it'll just kind of help my score a little bit. So. Okay, here's a battle gate. So this should be interesting. I guess I should have left some of that. Well, I don't know. I don't see any enemies. I thought those little things were going to be chompies. Okay, here we go. Now the question is, do we get bombarded from above while we do this? And the answer is apparently no, which is really cool. I thought, you know, for sure we'd have to contend with that. I've never understood why sometimes they do that. And Scorp is one of the characters uh, that can easily lose the food thief. I, there's some of them. Scorp in particular, he's got great range with his uh, Venom Balls, but it's like one of those deals I just... Like, sometimes he'll like be in pursuit of someone and just like leave a trail behind him. And, uh, oh, we shouldn't have gotten hit there. I didn't know we could go through the rope either, and I can't go back through the rope, and that really screwed me up. <laughs> so, uh, it's probably a glitch that we had happened. Level 
Uh, now I can Power use some boost. food. We don't have any. I guess we should find a ton of it though. So, no worries, I suppose. Hopefully. Otherwise, well, now it's the Y button. Can it? Yeah. Oh, that's fruit. Was it? No? I don't know. Didn't do much for our health. Well, let's see what this does for us. Sweetness. Full health. Are these pumpkins again getting shot at us? I was so busy looking at the pumpkins. And an unfortunate incident. Oh my gosh. Get the fruit, please. Oh. We may die here. Lots of things going on. There's some cheese. It's not fruit, but then we need it. So, find that. Alright, I was patrolling for a little bit more fruit. I'm not seeing any. And we'll soldier onward, and luckily there's some on the other side of the gate. Kinda like this challenge, I have to say. It kinda reminds me of some of the Skyliners' giants and rooks. Like, you have to gather ingredients. And Christmas present or trading day one. Well, can't think of the exact name now. Oh, I wouldn't be able to. Okay, so I guess this is just a fruit gate. Where we basically destroyed. get these broken, collect the fruits, destroyed. and move on with our life. So, did we get everything? I guess we did. Back to full health, level 13. Uh, we're almost to sit on the pieces of fruit here. So we need a key. Must be a key down here somewhere. It tells me enemies may have it. Oh no, I was pleasantly wrong. <laughs> it's one of those times I do not mind being wrong. And another deal, you know, I'm assuming. Okay, so there are enemies now. Um, this is a scenario I don't like when the projectile guys are off screen. I don't know. Okay, there's a third projectile guy. Well, we landed on a projectile there, but as stated, that's a scenario I don't like. Let's go with Slobbertooth. He did so well for us. I hate losing him. Um, it's just one of those deals I was talking about how much I don't like not being able to see things off the screen. And he didn't need the fruit. What was I thinking? Uh, this guy over here is probably the one that was doing all the damage to us. He wasn't going to eat him. Spit him out of this room. I guess we swallowed him actually. Now Slobbertooth needs fruit, and did I eat it all? I believe I did. So, Scorp totally should have uh, finished that. But, oh well. Alright, this should be the end, I would think. Looks like there's quite a bit of fruit here. Okay, let's speak more fruit. Let's get some of that. Here's the projectile, guys. There's at least three of them. Hopefully, the we got. Oh, I don't know how that. Okay, we got one on the side. I'm gonna go try to get some of this fruit before we get hit. And uh, I think we'll work this one out okay. I want to keep that multiplier as high as I. We jumped into a shot again. I can't tell you how many times I have had that happen. Fruit box destroyed. Oh, go! Okay, that's that is something I don't know that I agree with, but whatever I suppose. Sounds like that, I wish I had a hit cam on to see the buttons I guess. I know we could probably get the 11 pieces of fruit, I'm just kind of wanting to clear the area. Oh, gee, speaking of clearing the area, where did these goofballs come from? Once again, uh, I didn't see crosshairs there. Um, Oh well. We'll go back with Zulu. I think we could have finished it if we broke that crate. I just want to kill the enemies. Um, 
and again, I don't know if we're better off just finishing it with a time bonus or uh, you know, killing the enemies all off. Which I think we've done that now. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that's. Okay, yeah, this will be the end of it. So we'll grab that final piece of gold. This should be all the fruit. There we go. Great work, Portal Master. Not only did you spare those archaeologists from a messy end, but you also saved their food for their expedition. Well done. Bonus mission completed. Yeah, I don't know that we did too good on that one. But the main thing, we three started and it's done. And now I can play it and I can... Uh, what I'll do, I'll bring in some of the characters I haven't hardly used, like a Lycor Whamshell or something, and I'll just run through here and see if he gets fruit from Tearsman. I think, ironically, all these new landers I've been using, I've finally been able to get it in the solo survival arenas, and I did not know this one existed. I'm assuming it would count, and if it does, it will literally make that fruit from Tearsman a piece of cake. So I figured there was a challenge that would have a lot of fruit I just didn't know there would be a challenge that was like exclusively fruit and in such large quantities uh, now the real test the leaderboard not too bad for our first try I mean, we had a lot of stuff go wrong so uh, I'll run with that for now but uh, that was that that was fruit fight I really enjoyed this one and uh, plants versus cakes the last one so uh, kind of a nice little mix there for us but again it is nightmare mode that's why they take longer than the hard I thought I was on hard and then it turns out I was on nightmare mode from the last time but uh, I'll quit rambling that's that we got the three stars I guess that's the main thing it's recorded and now I can come in here play it and see if I can't crank out fruit frontiersman's really really fast uh, and I guess since you can switch Skylanders theoretically you could get like uh seven of them done uh, you know probably at least five each time and I assume if you switch them out it would keep the progress if it really counts for it but uh, I'll research that uh, I'll try to remember in the description to let you know what I found out because sadly I think all these guys I used have fruit frontiersmen but uh, that's it thanks for watching you can follow me on Twitter like me on Facebook circle me on Google Plus make sure you are subscribed here on YouTube it'll keep you up with when I upload the latest and greatest in Skylands videos and it'd be much appreciated but I will quit rambling we will move on to the next one thanks again for watching and I will catch you back here next time.